What's up, buddies? Welcome to another episode of The Poor Man Road to Glory. I, I want to say the same thing I always do on The Poor Man Road to Glory, which is thank you for the support. But I'm not even going to mention in terms of what views the YouTube channel gets. I haven't even looked at what views the videos have gotten. In fact, I'm going to have a quick look right now. <laughs> I wish I didn't look. Um, either way. Thank you for the support on the channel, whether that's my Twitch channel or my YouTube channel. I appreciate it. Like, like I promised, I'm going to keep this series going no matter how sad the viewership is on YouTube. I, at least I know my Twitch viewers enjoy my poor man road to glory. I, I guess there's that. So YouTube doesn't seem to, but hey, it is what it is. I appreciate you guys. I'm actually pretty stoked on today's episode. There's a few things that I've got written down to make sure that the structure of the episode is coherent and I'm not just bouncing all over the places. But in terms of the intro, uh, you know, if you're excited for the episode, smash the like button. We're not even cracking a thousand likes anymore on YouTube on the channel. So if we even crack a thousand likes, I'll be very grateful for it. I wanted to talk today mainly about the player of the year, Mo Sella, in full detail in terms of his card, the stats that are basically a lie on his face card, whether or not it's worthwhile doing his player of the year card, and the exact same thing I want to go over for uh, Sané, whose card looks great for me. Like, I, I'd be very interested in doing this card. But anyways, we're going to talk in detail about the player of the year cards, whether or not you should do them, what would my reasoning for saying to you, no, don't fucking do them, don't. I'm going to go in great detail as to why you should not do them, but this is what EA have been doing to all of us over the last two years. They've been titillating us with these crazy SBCs that look so cool. The idea of having them first owner in your club is it completely blinds people to the fact that they are sinking their coins into these SBCs to then have no coins for team of the season when I guarantee F into you. This card yesterday, I don't even know what the value of is it is right now if you don't have players. This card would have cost you 1.3 million coins to do yesterday. This card would have cost you almost 800,000 coins to do yesterday to have a card stuck in your club that you can do nothing with ever again. Please. Do not do these cards. I promise you, I'm willing to put a bet, you can quote me on in this video, that their team of the season versions will be almost half the price, if not more than half the price cheaper. Do not do these. Don't. Just wait till the team of the season comes out. If you want that first owner feel, do the psycho stuff that I do, where you buy a fresh first owner pack pulled card off the market, it becomes a second owner, it only has your stats on it, and guess what? You can trade him and sell him on later. Please, please do not do these SBCs. I don't care how many millions you have. They are absolutely not worth it. They're, it's still over a million coins. Over a million coins for a card that, yes, looks fantastic. But one super weird thing that EA do here, and let's, let's go look at his player of the year card, okay? One thing I want to talk about, and again, in terms of the episode, we're going to go into big detail about these two cards at the start of the episode, but we also are, I'm going to show you guys the sale. We made profit off of our squad builder last episode, so every single player we sold, we made money on, so that's good. I'm going to show you guys that. Still trying to sell that Informa Tweety that we bought for a bit of profit. Other than that, we're looking really, really good. Um, we will, as always, do some way in the mid part of the video, the bronze pack and silver upgrade method, because you guys seem to be enjoying that. Um... We're going to start and do a new draft as well. And then we also have squad battle rewards to uh, claim for this episode. But one of the things I really wanted to get into here is, uh, is these cards. Now, not only is it my opinion that these player of the year cards are so overpriced, so overpriced that it has actually killed the market even more. The market for players in general has just plummeted because all these traders and wannabe traders, you know, out there that are buying all these informed Premier League players and this, that, and the other, they've all lost their shirt. Why? Because the SBC is too expensive. Doesn't even matter if you got the, the, the gamble correct and you bought an inform or you bought a card that was needed for the SBC. 90% of them have all plummeted in price because no one's doing the SBC. It's ridiculously expensive. So, I even feel bad if you if you risk your money investing in these. Now, okay, if you snipe the players and got them a little bit cheaper and stuff like that. Wait, where's the 98 rated card? Okay, so 
for some reason they're not gonna let me do this comparison in game so why don't we go over uh go over here what i wanted to talk about we'll go over to uh fut bin to have uh to have a look at this so let's turn on the web browser turn this off here we are so one thing that i'm starting to get a little bit sick of and again i compliment ea when they do things right but what hurts me in a business standpoint, especially with, with building a relationship with EA, which I will never do because I think they need to be called out on when they do things poorly, is right here. The face card stats are genuinely a marketing lie. It is false advertising. I know a lot of you guys will roll your eyes and say, dude, it's just a video game. You need to understand the implications of what they're doing here, guys. It's not right, period. It's not right on so many levels. People spend real money to get coins. I and a lot of you guys spend a lot of time to get coins to buy players. And when you're advertised that a card has 99 pace and the pace box right here is dictated by acceleration and sprint speed, who at EA doesn't understand math? Who at EA does not understand math? It's, it's ridiculous. And the fact that we can still even come up for excuses for EA with this false advertising of face card stats versus their actual stats is incorrect and wrong on so many levels. The other thing you want to go with is you go with shooting as well. How does he have 98 shooting? Okay, he's got 99 positioning, 99 finishing, but as EA have explained it to us and have gone no further of justifying what they do versus cards face stats versus actual in-game stats this is what we know the shooting stat the 98 rating comes up out of the accumulation of positioning finishing shot power long shots volleys and penalties take 99 percent of gold cards and their in-game stats then dictates what their shooting is so for those of you guys saying oh but what if shooting includes heading and stuff like that no EA have explained to the community, to all the website developers, all of those guys out there, that these shooting stats, you take them and you divide it by six, I suppose, right? You add this all up, divide it by six, you get the shooting stat. Why are they doing this? It's genuinely gross. This is not right. It, it just isn't. Positioning 99, finishing 99, shot power 95, long shots 83, volleys 95, and penalties of 81 does not indicate 98 shooting, period. Period. Doesn't matter how you justify it, it doesn't. And EA Sports, you guys do a lot, a lot of stuff right. This is wrong. Plain and simple. It is. It's not right. Well, I, I believe, actually, the math. I don't want to pull out my calculator. But I think it ends up meaning that he has 91 or 92 shooting. Right? I think it's 92. It's 92 shooting, right? what are that that is genuinely just false advertising it's incorrect now they can, you can do that i believe on all the other passing stats as well or the, the the other stats i believe some of them are accurate and others are absolutely inaccurate another thing i find and this is again just ea seemingly randomly putting numbers in places and and it not making any sense i'm sorry ea i know right now it just sounds like we're whinging we're moaning or whatever how does someone that is about to, I think he's one goal away from breaking the Premier League goal scoring record. How do you give this guy 86 composure on his player of the year card? What? That doesn't, it doesn't even make sense. That that actually b breaks my brain. What is even more idiotic based off of it just being EA coming up with stats is look at this. You're telling me a 17 year old kid who had a worldie of a season yeah but at the end of the day still scoring goals in the championship he has 97 composure as a 17 year old man is about to break the goal scoring record in the premier league scoring in chipping the keeper in a champions league game against man city i believe with that type of composure, this type of goal scoring records, what he's doing against top, top teams, and you're telling the community he has 86 composure, and then some 17-year-old kid that hasn't had to deal with any of that has 97 composure. It it just, it you got, it makes no sense. So what I wanted to get out of this whole 
player of the year discussion, this topic, all of this stuff is what I'm sure a lot of content creators have said. I've talked about it in my chat to some extent. I've talked about it all year long on Twitter. There is no consistency EA Sports FIFA. There is zero. Nothing you do in any part of your business has consistency. Whether that's your gameplay on a day-to-day -day basis, that is inconsistent. Your rules for banning accounts versus not banning accounts, completely inconsistent. Your decisions on stats and certain players, completely inconsistent. Your decisions on releasing team of the knockout stage, but your team of the group stage, but then for some reason this year, no team of the knockout stage. Your, your decisions to release certain promos and other promos has zero consistency year on year. And that is remarkably disappointing from a billion dollar corporation. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Like th these little things here that we're talking about, composure being massive on a 17 year old and then being horrifying on a 86 rate, you know, on, on a Sella. Let's not even get into icons that make no sense. You're, you're, you're telling us that Patrick Vieira in his prime, which I believe would end up being at Barcelona, in his prime, the best version of Patrick Vieira has 79 composure. And yet a 17 year old that is having a fantastic season and is going to, by all means, be an incredible player in the future, has 97 composure. It just, it just doesn't make sense. So I think this is yet something else that EA absolutely needs to work on. But even more importantly, is their blatant false advertising to their customer base. It's, it's just, it's just absolute. I said Patrick Clivert, right? I meant Patrick Clivert. If I said Patrick Vieira, that's a, you know, that's, that's an easy mistake for me to make while I'm trying to get 20 points across for a live recording. I meant Patrick Clivert, of course. Um, not Patrick Vieira. Hopefully 99% of you guys would have understood that. I'm pretty sure. Um, but it's just these things that I find so incredibly slimy and, and, and really odd from EA and then I think that they can do better in and it's such a simple thing to do like if you're telling me his card has 99 pace just make his card 99 acceleration 99 speed speed if you're telling me he has 98 shooting for god's sakes boost something boost his long shots or give him 92 goddamn shooting like one or the other you either actually have his in games match his card stats or you have his card stat match his in games it's just it's it's ridiculous so that's the one thing I wanted to talk about, you know, which is which is something you need to have as food for thought if you're going to spend 1 million plus coins on an untradeable seller. Not only is it incredibly not worth it, but you need to look at the actual stats. You will sit there and use this card, and I guarantee you, if you have any other version of Sella, you will not notice a difference. So if you have a version of Sella and you're looking to spend eight or 900K more to get his player of the year card, Go for it if you love Liverpool, if you're a Liverpool fan, if you're a Mo Salah fan, if you're, you know, whatever you are, if there's something that's urging you to do him, I'm not telling you outright to absolutely not do his card. By all means, go for it. But at least think about it. Look at things. And even more importantly, even if you are a Liverpool fan or someone that has infinite money, literally in four days, Five days, the team of the season starts, which our next video will be us covering how to prepare for team of the season starting this Friday and then for the next month. But the Premier League team of the season is going to be out then, I guess it would be in about a week and three days or something like that, right? Save your money, man. Wait until midweek and I guarantee you that Salah will be five, six, seven hundred thousand coins as opposed to one to 1.3 million coins for a card you can't get rid of. So that's my opinion on the most Salah. Believe it or not, I haven't really looked into the Sane yet. Um, I, I wouldn't mind to look at the Sane card and see what his in-games look like as well, if you guys would so allow me uh, to do. But again, I would once again say that I would wait on it. Doing all of this for, for un an untradeable card for a Sane, I would sit there and get his team of the season. Like, if this is seven, eight hundred k to do, you're probably going to be able to buy him for three, four hundred k I promise you. Now... You might not be able to buy that card for three, 400K right away during the Premier League team of the season because the Premier League team of the season over my last 10 years of playing FIFA Ultimate Team or nine years playing FIFA Ultimate Team with team of the seasons and stuff like that in the game mode, the Premier League is the most hyped. The entire community uses Premier League players. So the Premier League always gets this like big boost initially. And then as the rest of the team of the season comes out, the Serie A comes out and people start seeing like team of the season Koulibaly's and stuff like that for 100,000 coins 
they're not going to be spending 200k on a team of the season for Tongan and stuff like that. And it, it it's like that for every single player. You know, let's say a team of the season Dybala for two, three, four hundred k. That's going to actually start to cause an even bigger drop in price of the Premier League team of the season players. So if you want those team of the season cards, especially the Premier League, you're going to want to sit there and hold out for that Salah, maybe even after the Premier League team of the season is done to really save yourself the most money. And before we look at this Sané, one thing I want to say, and I'm going to cover it again in greater detail next episode where we talk about how to prepare for team of the season. I honestly think that this might be the cheapest team of the season that we get this year. And the reason I say that is there's, there's, there's a lot of reasons. But EA have succeeded so well this year, even more than last year, in having the community sink all of their coins through SBCs. Whether we want to talk about small coin sinks, like the FUT swap players that come out in SBCs, the small coin sinks to some extent in like the random daily promotional SBCs that they do, the small coin sinks in, or the medium sized coin sinks in um you know the, the the player of the year cards but the ones that are like from the off leagues that people like oh it's only 40 or 50k like the Cessignon or marquee matchups which are small coin sinks as well to some extent if you don't do the bronze pack method etc what they've done even better though this year is the big boy coin sinks and you all know what i'm talking about prime icon sbcs and baby icon sbc packs those have pulverized people's coin balances not only that but leading up to the team of the season, there's just a record low of people playing this game. I don't care what any type of game statistic shows, you know, where it shows, you know, FIFA's one of still the most played games. That is literally because people will log in to get a daily objective, will log in to get this thing, and then they're the, they're the F out back to Fortnite or whatever they're doing. At the end of the day, viewership on YouTube, viewership on Twitch, that does not lie. The interest levels, at the very least, in FIFA Ultimate Team this year are at an all-time low. And I genuinely think that is going to kill off even more the demand for all these Team of the Season cards. Which, among everyone else not having coins that are still playing this game, is really going to cause the Team of the Seasons um, to be very, very cheap. Very, very cheap. And another, a few people in my chat are saying as well, Whoa, Nick, it's very obvious that people aren't playing this game. For Top 100... All year long, you needed like an average of 38 wins, something like that or whatever. There was people in top 100 with what, 36 wins this week? That doesn't happen in, like for FIFA 17, FUD champs, only needing 35 or 36 wins to get in top 100 was only happening last year in August. Guys, we're in April. April. And FUD champs and the people playing it and the people doing well in FUD champs is indicative this year in April what it was showing us last year in August. So again... It's of my opinion that this year's team of the season is going to be even cheaper, which is yet an even bigger reason as to why you should not be doing these hyper inflated, hyper expensive player of the year cards. Now, I am a bit of a hypocrite here because last year it was still relatively expensive to do a player of the year Conte, but I still did him. Why? Because we had an untradeable one to watch Conte, which made it like 50% cheaper, right? Um, and that Conte got right into my team, right? And he really wasn't that expensive. I think he cost me another two or 300K to do outside of my untradeable one to watch Conte. Um, so I guess if one of these players gets into your dream team or your favorite team of all time, you can still do it. But I just think it's better to get their team of the season. Like last year, people were saying, Nick, wait for the team of the season. Conte will be higher rated and cheaper. Well, of course, as we all predicted, it was the exact same rating. Thanks to EA, that's a good thing that they did. The player of the year and their team of the season card, the same rating last year. I expect the exact same thing this year. They will not screw over their player of the year SBC completers by then releasing a team of the season Salah that's even higher rated. That would just, it would be a very EA Sports FIFA thing to do, but I do not think that they've learned from previous years when they've screwed over their customers with like unfair ratings and stuff like that, that I don't think they're going to do that this year. Um... So that's just my two cents on it. I'd love to have a quick look at Mo, uh, sorry, at Sane as well. So let's uh, let, let's do that because let's see. I've not looked at this card, but let's see. Is EA being honest about at least this card and his and his and his boosts and his stat boosts or no? <clears throat> no, they're not. They're not again. It's unbelievable. I mean, this right here. I I haven't done math in years, literally decades at this point. To an extent and you can see that this is not 98 except this is not 98 pace period so that alone should be 97 pace shooting is also incredibly inaccurate is it not 
because you've got 92 92 92 okay that would average out 91 you've got 96 which would bring the average up just a little bit to maybe 92 maybe even 93 but then you've got two 75s in there like he should genuinely have 85 shooting right am i wrong I, and this is just off of my head so if someone wants to take that calculation and go this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this, plus this divided by six we can really figure out what the actual numbers are i'm Mommy, recording like a, oh are you yeah oh, oops. that's okay no worries thank you. Uh, thank you so much love you're the best that's just vegetables. is it okay I'll have, I'll have it in a little bit i can't stuff my oh, face okay. while recording thank you babe um stats are weighted differently no they are not no they are not they are absolutely not they are absolutely not. The stats are as we've seen. As I've literally just sent in my explanation, it's not weighted, dude. It's not. Go look at the 80, the, the gold cards. All gold cards have accurate stats of this divided by six equaling this. It's only now slowly but surely starting to be the higher end cards that do not have these accurate stats. That's it. That's it. <clears throat> and if you want i would love to be proven wrong here if you want to show me an article from ea that is up to date for fifa 18 that says stats such as certain shooting stats are weighted differently please give me the article of it i would love love to see it i would love to see it i would love to see it. You can't sit there and just start assuming things or trying to like break down the numbers with like different weightings to come up with that 91 shooting that is displayed on the actual face card. That is you guys being a devil's advocate for EA by coming up with an endless amount of assumptions. It's just not, it's not correct guys. Dribbling stats in game are more, some are more important than other dribbling stats. Ugh. We'll leave it at that. If anyone wants to put in the comment section um, an article that, that dictates how and what stats are weighted that would correctly indicate this when gold cards have the in-game shooting stats that equal their actual shooting stat, how then can gold cards not have weighted stats? That, that, that's just what I don't understand. It's like, genuinely, I don't understand. Like, I, I genuinely don't get how we're now saying high-rated cards have weighted shooting stats but regular gold cards that have an accurate display of their six shooting stats equaling their shooting do not have weighted stats it's just anyways we'll leave it at that so all i'm gonna say here is i do not think it's worth it in any way shape or form to do these cards i think the the long story short is you want to wait for team of the season to get these done either way i still think that the actual mechanics that people give us to calculate these stats is what should be representative on their shooting card, period. Period. Because again, even if, and this is all I'm gonna say is, even if there is a waiting system in shooting and there's maybe a waiting system in passing, to anyone that hasn't seen or heard EA say something like that, that is incredibly misleading, period. It just is. You can't deny that. You cannot deny that. You cannot deny that. Um, okay, Steph is now texting me when she knows we're recording. Thank you so much, babe. I really appreciate that. Um, she's letting me know she ordered ink from Amazon. Okay. Anyways, let's move on. We'll carry on from that. I, I don't want to get like too, too crazy about it. Um, <clears throat> my name is Annette, by the way, BT Show. My name is Nick2018. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm thanking EA for giving me a chance to get rid of my player of the month Sané uh, for a pack to save for team of the season. Hey, if you're thanking EA for allowing you to do a uh, player of the year Sané for 800,000 coins that you can't do anything with, fair play, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> Absolutely, my bro. You know, that, that, like I said, it's, it's how you want to use it as justification. Now, if you have an untradeable Sané and you love Sané, well, yeah, 
getting his team of the season card while also then having his untradeable card in your club is going to be a little bit hard to do. It's still, all I'm going to say here is, I mean, I'm going to just cover this real quick here because I think there's going to be a lot of people saying exactly what I just said, where, Nick, I have an untradeable Salah in my club. I love Salah. And what am I going to do with this untradeable card now if, if, if I get his team of the season card? I would venture to guess that the price savings of literally buying the Salah versus and then taking your untradeable Salah and using them in an Icon SBC or something like that will still be better than you using your untradeable Salah in his Player of the Year SBC. I actually think you probably still would save more coins going that route. So that, that, that would just be something, and I'm not going to sit here and try and calculate that all out right now, but have a look at that. Because again, if that's what your mentality is, is you have an untradeable version of one of these cards, so that's why you're doing it. Again, once their Team of the Season cards come out, how long do we have here? Ooh, five days remaining. So that's going to be tough. You're actually not going to really be able to do that calculation, are you? You're not going to be able to do that calculation. Mm. I'm not risking it. I'm going to get player of the year Salah. Hey, go for it, man. You know what? I'd love to have a conversation. Maybe, I guess it would end up being in like two or three weeks. Once we know where the team of the season Salah price is, I will come back. I'm going to try and make note and I will come back to this video and we'll see what the cost was again of 1 million to 1.3 million versus what the price of the team of the season card is and we'll have a look ourselves so for those of you guys that want to take my advice or just keep going with what you want to do we can at least have that discussion in two or three weeks i think that would be i think that would be a good idea also do we have a loan version of these cards because having said that i would love to try my 92 or 93 rated uh player of the month sala versus his player of the year card i would actually really enjoy that did we get a loan version? We did. How much is how much is it to do these? What's the what's the actual rating? So with the block in there, that's like an 84, 85 rated player. 50,000 coins. Ugh. For 50,000 coins, do I really want to try and do a comparison side by side? Mm, no. But I wouldn't mind getting a Sane. I would not mind getting a Sane. So that's an 83 slash 84 rating and we only need 80 80 chem this one i wouldn't mind doing honestly we could get we could use the sella i could i could then it would allow me to decide whether or not i want to buy his team of the season card i wouldn't mind doing this on the road to glory for 20 20k okay let's uh so we need 80 chem let's see what we got in terms of decently rated gold cards yeah let's do this i'm down I don't know what my club is even looking like in terms of uh, in terms of gold cards. Okay, so we got you. We could use. Uh, we got you. Uh, we got Chesney again. Prem and La Liga. We'll talk about it next episode. But these cards, I'm not selling because we have both those league SPCs as part of our prep. For team of the season so we should have 30 plus huge packs or good packs at the very least to open for team of the season when it starts uh i'll probably save them for the prem though not most consistent uh so patrice evra taliska okay so even 80 81s i'm not going to be able to use right we're gonna have to go get ourselves like some 83s stuff like that in fact this might be a little bit a little bit rough to do Right? So if we're looking at, let's look at the Turkish League. What do we got here for usable, usable, decently rated cards? So I have Taliska, but again, he's 81 rated. Um, not a lot, not a lot of high rated pl players. We got Nazri, but not going to be easy to fit him in there. Beguli, I believe that's a special version. We've got the goalkeeper. And we got Gary Medell. And we've got to okay. Okay, so what I'm thinking is maybe we do this. We do it's gonna hurt the chem a little bit, but 
Okay, that's not so terrible. And then let's see what we got for Liga Nos as well. Liga Nos. Ricardo, I mean, we could go Ricardo Charisma, but we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. I don't, I don't know if I need to even get Ricardo Charisma, honestly. Okay, so we've got a Dost in there who will be needed. Patricio, is that an informed Patricio or a regular Patricio? I'm not. E I'm not even sure. Got Perea. We got Pizzy. Okay, we got Eker. Okay, you know what? Maybe Liga Nos is, is is what we use. We've got Feza Shazazasha. We got Brahimi, who I won't be able to fit into the team. Okay, let's see here. How far away would I be, Chemwise? Ah, uh, I will be way too far away, Chemwise, right? Uh, well, first of all, it's only 81 rated. So that's an issue. Does that get us there? That's still only 81 rated. Okay. Um... Still only 81 rated. Okay. Hmm. Brahimi is an 84? Oh, you're right. Brahimi is an 84. Okay, let's let's try that then. Let's try the 84 Brahimi and see if that even helps. Nasri isn't even available. Okay, perfect. So we'll do uh, we'll do Brahimi instead. Problem is is Chem though. Where did I put Brahimi in the team without even? Oh, I did. Okay. What do we got here? How are you gonna make this work, Nick? How are you going? Okay. Well, that that helps. Yeah, I think I believe Nazri's extinct, so we'll have to rethink that one. Ligonos. Let me see. One more player. Even if it's like an 82 rated. 82 rated card in there. Jonas? Okay, so. If we use Jonas, we get it, but we gotta get, we gotta, so I'm thinking like maybe just Danny Rose, would that work? I'll have to buy, I think Danny Rose is a little bit overpriced right now. I think Danny Rose might work. Okay, he does not work. Um, I mean, Mendy drops the rating, but also just does not work. Trying to think, do we have like I wonder if like an 82 rated because I know there's like an 82 rated center back in the Liga Nos, right? That might work. Replace the 83 rated goalkeeper with potentially an 82 rated center back. That might get it. That might get it there. Let's see. There is 82 that are non-informed, right? Like Felipe. Felipe, please, Felipe work. Let's go. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. So what are we looking at? I, I think I'm just going to outright buy these cards. It, it, if I if I overspend a little bit here and there, so be it. 2100 for him. 2000 by now seems to be the price. 2000 yeah. 
how much am I going to really save? Now, I'm going to do this for this one card. If, if I get up to the 59th minute, which actually might not let me do. There's just so many of him listed up. If he's only like 18 or 1900, then I'm just going to buy the first cheapest version of each card, right? Like, we're a little bit of bronze back method, and I'll make back the 20k that it's costing me to get this loan Sane. Always got to remember that, dudes, where guys, where you guys are like, oh my god, Nick, you, you, you saved so many coins here and there, now you're spending 20k on an untradeable card uh, for 20 games. 100%, because we can make the coins back easily doing the bronze pack method, which we will even do here. See if we can make some quick coins. Um, and, and why not? It allows us to try out the Sane for 20 games. I still have my player of the month, Salah. And we've used them for two different squad builders already. So these are absolutely worth it for us to make different squads. Especially if like some point in the summer we, we bring back past and present squad builders, right? Schalke past and present squad builder coming in hot. Among others, of course, right? Like it's not, that's just an example for Sané. It's looking like he's just 2k flat out. I don't think we're really saving any money by trying to buy one from the 59th minute or the 58th minute or whatever. We'll keep looking. Nope. Doesn't look like it. So that's just a flat 2,000 coins. Let's just buy the next. So there you go. Solid waste of a minute. Oh, wait, what? I'm blind. Oh, no. Why would those cards still be here, man? Wow, that's annoying. Okay. We got that one done. Uh, What just happened? Is it live? Would that show? There we go. Player of the year loan. So I'll put it on favorites in case I do that again. It'll stay there. There we go. <clears throat> That's the wrong one. Not a favorite. Live. Got it. Got it. I forgot that there's player of the month and player of the year, Salah, all at the same time. Quite hilarious. I mean, I'd love to try and sneak a bit in on this card, but you know he's going to go for a decent chunk of money. 2400 What's his actual price? 84 rated cards are at least 5-6k, right? There you go. 5k. Come on. 6,500, 53, 51. I'm okay. I'm okay with 5,100. That's fine. Uh, Pizzy, again, gotta be... Do I try and get bids up of these guys? There's 1,900. I mean, I, I, I bet you I find one for 2K by now. I bet you I find one for 2K by now. Let's see, 2,400 right there. 2400 again. 25. Oh, maybe not. 25, 25, 20. So 24 is going right? All right. Okay, that's fine. Pick that one up. Physicist, Azusha shot. So that's nice and cheap. 82 rated cards being back near discard is fantastic. I like that. That's nice. That's uh, that's assuming that the baby icon SBCs are done, right? That has to be because otherwise, eighty-two should still be at two k. I should I oh there's one for nine hundred. Should I just buy that? Be done with it? Yeah, let's just let's just buy for nine hundred. I bet you can get them for eight hundred, but it's all good. It's all good. Okay, Danny Rowe is gonna be overpriced, right? You know what? Because it's going to work no matter what, let me just see if I can get myself a uh, Leighton Baines. Let me see. If, because Everton might be a cheaper uh, a cheaper requirement, right? Yeah, he is. Okay, great. He's still expensive, but uh, Danny Rose is 4K. So there's 50% there's coins saved on the left back. What rating do I think Mo Salah will be next year? He deserves to be like 87 rated or 88 rated, I, I think. But EA are notoriously weird with stuff like that. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they make him 84 or 85 rated next year. He deserves to be, in my opinion, deserves to at least be 87 rated. 
But knowing EA, he'll be 84 or 85 as well. Because you got to understand, as a business standpoint, it allows them to create hype in January when player boosts uh, go on. And they can say, oh my god, now Mo Salah is 85 or 86 rated as a regular gold. Right? So you got you to think of that side of their business. The whole January like player upgraded stats thing is actually pretty good business for them. Lukaku will be 88. Nineteen hundred. That's okay. F. Too fat and slow, Nick. Ooh. All right. There we go. Twelve hundred. So again, anything we see, like nine, the next nine hundred, I see, I'm buying instantly. Come on. Come on. Give us these coins, BB. Give us these cheap coin players. No? No dice? Am I just, just... Is he price fixed? Why is this... This guy's got to be useful for an SBC or something. There's one for 1100 right there. There's a lot of this guy up for sale for identical prices. It's making me think that he's needed for an SBC. That's making me think he's needed for an SBC. Uh-oh. Thousand. All right, so who is it? It's Pereira, Felipe Pereira. Okay, Felipe Pereira and the other two are easy to remember. I'm just gonna, dudes, this is gonna be so much quicker if I do this. Felipe Pereira. Done, okay. Felipe Oyokomova. Felipe. See if we can actually even find one for 900 coins. Felipe. No? Yeah, there's something going on. Look at that! Why is this man's price fixed? Whose man's is this? Who's doing that to our card that we need? Okay, and then so now we got Jonas and Casillas. So, this was, was this 20k? Or is it under 20k? God, I you guys are gonna have to do this calculation for me. I, I think this, uh, I think this, I think this guy's costing us twenty k. Forty three hundred. That's not bad. There you go. Eighty four rated version of him is nice and cheap. Well, okay, maybe not nice and cheap, but okay priced. He's been over one k all year. Oh, okay, so he's got to be used for then some sort of SBC. Maybe even just the Porto SBC itself. Maybe that has like a good pack, so because he's such a high rated card, that would make sense. Which would probably mean that Casillas is expensive, right? Although I remember buying Casillas literally for like a thousand coins. When, you know, when when it was good to invest in 84 rateds. Or and 83 rateds for super cheap. Okay, so he's 2k as well. Hmm. Interesting. Could just be because of Porto, dudes. Dunzo! So there it is! We got ourselves Sane. I'm thinking we do a little cheeky little squad builder around uh, around Sane. I know we've got still, I did promise bronze pack method, silver upgrade method, and the draft, but I'd like to do I'd like to do a squad build around this Sane. Especially because we're we're forcing ourselves to use 4231 right now. Did uh any of those other players sell? Or are we just relisting? Yeah, we're relisting. Okay. Let's go get him. And I'll really then at least be able to tell you guys by next episode whether I think it's even worth putting your time into. Next episode should be tomorrow, so it sh you should still be able to do this card if you if you so choose. Um, done. You guys do the calculation for me, but I believe that cost us under 20k. And we had to buy every single player, so. Is it worth 20 games to play? I think it is for this series. Is it worth it for you on your own personal Road to Glory account? No. For me, it's worthwhile doing on the Four Men Road to Glory because it allows me to give you guys content for this series. I don't know necessarily if spending 20,000 coins on a player, you know, that'll last you 20 games is worthwhile. Unless he's getting you top 100 or something like that, you know? Uh, oh, yeah, let's let's claim squad battle rewards. That'll, that'll boost up the amount of packs we have saved for 
team of the season. So premium gold player pack, jumbo premium gold pack, and 13,000 coins. Again, we played like five games um, of squad battle. So super easy packs there for barely over an hour to invested. Um, what's, what's Lewis Cook's squad? Oh my god. Bit of, bit of a Barca fan, maybe? This has got to be like his best friend or something, right? That's got to be his best friend. I, I would love... I would love if EA maybe next year gave us like a video clip before you clicked in. You know, so we could we could have a like a, even a minute to two minute video of him going through picking his team. I picked this right striker because of this reason. He's a promising young talent or I love him. I picked this guy because he's a promising young talent. I picked this guy because I, I know him very well. I picked Nathan Ake because he's an incredible player. He's an incredible player, and we're so lucky to have him. I picked Ronaldinho because he's my favorite player of all time. I picked Messi because he's the greatest ever, in my opinion. And I, I, Little things like that. I, I think it would be so cool if they did even that next year. It'd be such a fun thing to be able to watch. <clears throat> Sterling did that for his own YouTube channel. Yeah, but I, I again, I don't care what other people are doing. I want EA to start putting stuff like that in the game. Very, very similarly to I want... The same type of things we see on 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 this website here, uh, like when you click finisher, you get to see the immediate stat boosts live on the players' in-game stats. This should be something that is in FIFA 18 Ultimate Team. Genuinely, it should be in the game. Uh, I put sniper on him, and it shows me that it boosts his balance. This should be in the game once again. I should not have to go to an external website to see that type of stuff. And that is exactly like this, where people are like, oh, but. Cook put this on his YouTube channel. No, I shouldn't. Th this is what EA needs to do to make everything more engaging on their game. They need to include that stuff in the game. No one should have to go outside of their game to get added content about EA's game. Th does that make sense? So that, that's all I'm thinking. I just think it'd be a cool little addition if they if they toss that in there. Or Dave Myler when he picked his team. You know, them filming him, him picking and deciding his team. I think it'd just be a really, really cool uh, bonus add-on. Little little thought. I, whether or not EA are going to do that for FIFA 19, who knows? But there's yet another uh, nugget of information for, for EA. So is there anything I can use? Would Sané count as a um, Team of the Week player? No, a Aerial Threat? Probably not. La Liga debut. So that's all we got. We got games to play. We got 10 games to play. A gorgeous goal. A La Liga debut. Uh, it's got to be in squad battles, though. So we'll, we'll, I'll do that on my own time. This should be very easy to do. Um, An aerial threat is so hard. We played with that squad we built last episode with the gorgeous... By the way, Giroud is fantastic. As a striker, such a good card. I couldn't score headers to save my life, man. This is one of those things that's the most annoying thing ever to do. Once again, instead of forcing us to do something like this in Seasons EA, I think this is... Uh, this is I think this should have been put into seasons and this should have been just open. So if you spend the entire week trying to get headers in D1 and you're not able to, okay, I'll go into squad battles and play against the amateur AI and just unlock the weekly objective. This is impossible for me to achieve right now. Um, in fact, I think we're going to build a team right now that is going to try and, uh, and get that for us. So let's get Sané in there. Of course, he's going to go right at left, uh, left mid bum um now should we should we just get should we just get should we just get sala in there as well boom boom a double boom boom why not why not uh okay let's look at the premier league i don't have anything crazy right for the prem i don't believe so at least no untradeables no so no cdms cam what do we got no would rain <sighs> i wonder if wayne rooney would be an like what is he what is it what is his actual heading stats 80 jumping 89 heading accuracy could try wayne rooney up front i tried the big Giroux and and could not get him to work for me to save my life I genuinely could not. So maybe we do this and then another player that has not gotten a lot of love from us is um is Eden Hazard. 
Oh my god, but then what about Bobby Firmino, dudes? I know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to use Mo Salah. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take out Mo Salah. Sorry, Mo. Love you, bro. Um, and then right over here, we're going to use Eden Hazard on 7 chem at right mid. And we're going to get Bobby at center forward. There we go. Yes. Because then we have a in-swinging, in-swinging, uh, sorry, wide-swinging right-footed Hazard for Rooney. And a left wide-swinging uh, Sané for Rooney. Oh, it needs to be team of the week, bros. I can't even use Rooney. That's a good point. Thank you. That is a good point. Okay, maybe we'll use Rooney as a super sub. If we need it. Yeah, it needs to be team of the week. Uh, what type of informs are we looking at from the Prem? I just sold Giroud, though. Um, Harry Kane. What about, a, what about just a Harry Kane... Yeah, we could use the lone Giroud. I need to score a first-time goal with a Frenchman, though. Could go lone Giroud, but then we need to score a first-time goal with a Frenchman. Uh, okay, let's do that. Let's do that. What, do we have Frenchmen in the Prem? Guys, I can't do this to myself. Are you kidding me? What about a Lacazette? How much is the not one to watch version? But how much is the... Okay, so even the one to watch is not that expensive. I wouldn't mind using Lacazette. I don't think I've used him this year. Let's use the regular... Wait. Never mind. We'll just get his regular card. How much is Lacazette? I have not used this card this year. Is he good? Giroud is French. Thank you. I know. But I need a French player to score to unlock Giroud's inform card. So, I don't want to just use a base Giroud. Why not use someone that we haven't used? Okay. You know who I'd really like to try that I have not used this year? And I mean, I will need to buy him uh, specifically for the Man United SBC. Is this guy. I, I, I've not I've not used him this year and I love every version of Matic. I'd like to have Matic here, personally. No 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 guys, I'm talking <laughs> not if like I said is good like IRL. I'm talking in game for anybody that's used him. That three star weak foot's gonna drive me crazy. I can guarantee it. I can guarantee it. Yeah, there's, is there not a special version of... You know what? There's a special version of Matic, isn't there? Oh, the man of the match, Matic, right? Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're going to try man of the match, Matic, for sure. Um, we're going to get patty cakes here, just just for the ease ease of use. Okay, we'll get, we'll get, we'll get patty cakes here. Ooh, I'm actually pretty excited for this team. Did Lacazette used to have a four-star weak foot? When he was at Olympic Lyonnais, he had a four-star weak foot. Man of the Matic. A Kappa Kappa. Um, okay. I'm down. Let's go buy, let's go buy Laka. And uh, again, I'll sell these guys later tonight. So the, the chances are we might actually make a bit of profit. If not, we won't lose too much. The, the, you, you really risk losing money is if I hold these players until next episode or the, or the day after. We, we got lucky with our other players. So what are we looking at? 70k or something for him, right? Did I do good? I think I did good. Did I do good? How much more expensive than 68k is his next card? 72. Okay. So we shouldn't lose money on this guy. That's good. I'm down. And uh, like I said... Inform Arnautovic. Ooh. Inform Arnie up front. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. We'll have to make him a left forward to get him off of Kent. 
Is his le is that his best card? 87? Is 87 his best card? Oh my god, yes. Yes, please. Yes. Ooh, balance is terrible though. Composure and finishing is pretty terrible as well. Oh, he's not French. No, we can't do that. Stop distracting me. I need a Frenchman to score a uh, one-time goal. Uh, okay, so we got to go, like I said. Damn it. You guys almost got me there. Dude, my dumb brain with how many times I've fallen in love with Arnautovic over the years. You guys almost had me. <laughs> Six. Yeah, I could use I could use Anthony Martial at strike. Oh. How much is 83 Martial? Instead of Lacazette. Honestly, he'll be better than Lacazette at striker because he's four-star, four-star. Is he not? Yeah, he's four-star, four-star. How, how much is the 83? Uh, How would you even, like, separate the 83 from the 82 here? He's 6K. Do, if I go compare, does it then only show me? Oh, there you go. Okay. Let's do that. There's one for 6k. Why are these so expensive though? You can because it's EA. And even after eight years, they don't let you look at ratings in, in the transfer market. Like as a search criteria, I agree. How insane is that? This game's celebrating its 10 year anniversary next year. Still can't search on the market for rating of players. You can't even search on the market for anything other than special gold, silver, bronze. You can't search for man of the matches. You can't search for fun birthday. Like, hi, 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 EA. So many little things that they could do that would actually make the community happy, man. That they just don't care. At least, okay. Not fair for me to say they don't care. It might just be because they don't have the resources to do that. They're working on the World Cup or they're working on FIFA 19. But then when FIFA 19 comes out and they don't have that for us either, then, then what's the reason? The community doesn't really need that. That that might be the answer, you know? 5,800. Dude, how am I finding this? I don't know what to do here. This is so annoying. Uh, do, do, Would that work? 5,800, right? Like, can, well, can I do that? I'm still going to just have people putting their 82s up for too much. Oh, my God. It's so silly that this is even a thing. It's so silly. Alright, let's um I don't imagine he'd be cheaper than 4k even as an 83. Let's do that. Santa Maria. Is it this is fu this is futile. Okay, hold on. We're getting up to the 59th minute. Let's see. Who knows? There could be a whole bunch of him up for like 4,500. I might have scrolled past one as well. I have no idea. My eyes are burning trying to see an 83 out of the sea of 82s. I don't think... Was there one? Did I see one? Ah, I don't think there was. Okay. Let's just... Let's just do that then. Oh my god, now I gotta go through all the 52 rated- wait. Nope. Okay, that's not gonna work. Don't think- okay, let's look at 53. <laughs> I- my eyes are bleeding right now, man, trying to see an 83. Oh, come on! Okay, I think this is the only way to do it. But what's annoying is, like, if one gets listed up for 5k, I'm not even gonna see it. I'm not even gonna see it. Basic chem? What are you talking about? We'd still see people that have 82 rated cards as basic chem. Oh, this is hopeless. What is he doing? Trying to spend his entire life finding... Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. 83. Okay, that's a left forward. Hell yeah, that's the one. 56? What a ripoff. Maestro. Okay. What? If this is sold, I'm going to punch myself in the sausage. Yes! There we go. Left forward with a sniper. That's a, that's a good chem style for uh, Anthony Martial. Sorry, Lacazette. It, it took me about seven hours, but you are now replaced. God bless. Boom. 
Okay. So a first time goal with Anthony Martial is what we got to do. I, I, are we doing it in D1? Can we do it in the daily knockout tournament? Is that allowed? Is that allowed? I don't know. What a sick looking team though, to be, to be just so honest. What a sick looking saucy team. Okay, uh, special. No, 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 no. Go high to low. High to low. You know who I'm putting in here, dudes. It's just, it's blasphemy if he's not in my team. Okay. Is there any other Prem player that we're missing? Also, let's get rid of, uh, there we go. That's even better. Actually, instead of Wayne Rooney, do I have another French attacker that we can toss in here? Super sub, just in case we need the first time goal. The short answer to that is 100% no. Oh yeah, Alessandrini! God, why am I so, so silly? Dembele can go. Mounier can go. Oh, I can put Mounier right back! Yo! Let's go! God, why did nobody say that? How about that? That's sick! Okay, 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 I like it. Now I'm even more excited about this team. God, I'm such a loser. Is Schmeichel even... Oh, I guess we can use Hugo Lloris until we get rid of him. Okay, there we go. Um, 84, what's... What, did Steph just take shots via... Should we try Lovren? Lovren is going to get rinsed through the Liverpool SBC. Should we try Lovren? Should we just try him for the hell of it? Sick hybrid. Thanks, guys. I did my very best. Should we try him? Yeah. And let's see what we... Uh... Ooh, Leighton Baines. Okay. Oh, Nacho Monreal would be a fun card to try. Wait, where's Kolasin? Where's Kolasin ass? Kolasin my ass. Is he a left wing back? I got to go with Kolasin Ash, man. That card. My back line is tanks. Six foot three. Six foot. Six foot two. Bro, this team. Oh my God. Six foot four. This team is the tank team, man. Other than, of course, my attackers. Then, obviously, things get a little bit more saucy. Kala Whoops. Wrong one. My bad. What are we looking at for Kalasinas? 95k, 91k, 85k on bid. 85k on bid. 89k right there. I'm going to get that one for 89k. That seems like a decent little price. Has a backbone? Bro, you put a backbone instead of a shadow on this card? This guy needs a shadow. Powerhouse there. What a bunch of dumb stupids. Four minutes. I mean, I guess I just get him for 89 and put a anchor on him. That's annoying. Oh, well. Get him for 89. Call it a day. I actually think... I shouldn't put... I should not waste a shadow on him, right? Should I just toss... Sh should I go buy an anchor, though? Or do we want to just... What's his actual... Nah, see, he would benefit so much from an anchor... 92 sprint speed, 87 acceleration is so much better than 77 acceleration. Let me go spend the thousand coins on an anchor. I, I don't think it's going to be a fair assessment of his card if we sit there and um, and don't at least put an anchor on him. All right, so we'll do that. Uh, anchor. Yeah, worth. Shadow is even better. I agree. But honestly... Ooh, 800. Let's go. This team gives me a Woody. Nice. Like from Toys R... Like, like, like from that... Not Toys R Us. What's that movie? 
Like, you mean that, right? Surely you don't mean... Like, you're at half-mast. Surely. Surely you don't mean that. Okay. And you know what? With, with, with what's-his-face? Our plebeian center back? I'm keeping him on basic. Lovren's just chilling. Oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. This is... I'm gonna get pulverized. Alright, well, let's test out Sané while also trying to score a first-time goal with Martial. See how things go. Let me see if I can get in the daily knockout tournament. I don't know if there's requirements or not. Okay. We'll go into the daily knockout tournament. See if we can do it there. Can I do it in the daily knockout tournament? Or does it need to be divisions? I know you need to score the three goals with a team of the week player from the Prem. I don't think it needs to happen for first touches. Bro, dude. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's go. I'm going to pause the music. Again, we're just going to try and chill. I haven't played FIFA in about two days. That is... I love... I love Serie A squads, man. They're so awesome. Could do with a better right mid, but outside of that, that's a scary little team. Oh, can do it in any game mode? All right. Alrighty. Come on, boys. Shouldn't be getting beat physically, at least, defensively and with the, the midfielders. Even, even Firmino's a tank. Like, my entire midfield is just god tier in terms of strength and height and domination. Watch, uh, watch his right mid, who has all but 30 strength, just shove around my midfielders like they're nothing. That would be, you know, very FIFA-esque. Wah! Gigi! Solid save. I was trying to get that to Anthony Martial. How the hell, like, am I sweating this? Like, how do you even do first-time goals? Nick, you're really not good at this game anymore. It's time for you to wake up and just accept that you're trash bags. Come on. Why is Sané at CDM? Oh, that's why. Because he's the world's best. Colossinacci donkey. Let's go. Good. Good movement. Good passing. Yas. I love having Matic in the team. I'm a fan of Matic, man. He's a beast. He's always had such a good FIFA card. Wow. Anthony Martial. Maybe I should have taken a touch there. Tried to force the ball too quick. Come on. Break his face, Patty Cakes. Come on. Oh. Oh. That better not be a pen. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh! Oh! Florenzi! Great defensive play! I, I don't know if you guys could hear that, uh, but I double-tapped the right analog stick. I wanted Sané to, uh, to, like, push the ball past Florenzi, but Florenzi read that so easily without my opponent even controlling. Here we go. Sané? Sané does not feel anywhere near as fast as his stats would suggest. Bobby? Hi. Well, non. Oh my God, that counter! What? Okay, there we go. Good stuff. Rio, the drag back. Boop. Good. It's my fault. How is that not my throw? Simple. Again, dudes, it's the simple things that start triggering the hell out of me with this game. Because a throw which is clearly mine results in literally him getting a goal. That's silly. That's silly. Simple things like that. That's why it triggers me, man. At least you guys get the inner workings of my brain there. Throwing that should be mine gets gets to be his. Runs up the field and scores. Literally a tap-in. My whole team falls apart. That's so idiotic. And why is it always like that? When something goes against you, instantaneously your opponent's like, nah, we're good. Oh my god, man. 
Oh, that's frustrating. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to start making defensive mistakes here because I want the ball back. I'm just going to call that out now. Do I have any support here, like from Hazard? read that terrible passing that's my fault poor play poor play I might take an L here man I'm not uh, I just I don't feel I don't feel in it right now I really don't feel in it I gotta I gotta get some composure here in my play this one touch goal might not come from this game unfortunately I think I gotta concentrate on scoring as opposed to uh wow. wow that extra touch really fisted me. So I wanted a early cross from Hazard two seconds before. I don't know why he took an extra touch to then get his cross blocked. But that's okay. So that early chance from Hazard and the wonder save from Gigi Buffon is already starting to look a bit uh, heartbreaking. Very, 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 very telling. Good tackle. And that's a foul. That's meant for right, like that's meant for Bobby Firmino. Come on now, boys. Good. And he runs offside. Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. He's onside. He's onside. I play. I'm. I'm pressing A to pass the ball. Runs offside. Ten meters. I mean, it doesn't help that he's on six or seven chem, right? That's a great play. Of course, in the 45th minute. That's a good play, though. I'd say that goalie deserves, for sure. That extra pass I just overcommitted to. <clears throat> All the possession, but absolutely zero chances created. Poor play for me, for sure. Very poor play. Some bad defending there, Nick. Thanks, man. Appreciate the well wishes. God bless. It's definitely going to help me improve. Really, really thought-provoking and helpful criticism like that. Oh my, I can't complete a single pass right now. This is ridiculous. How's that such a poor through ball there? Rodriguez. 
sharp movement. So the referee awards <clears throat> When Lorenzo Insigne outmuscles Patrick Vieira, you know you're gonna have a rough day. I don't know. I might switch to four one two one two uh, narrow. It might be too late for that now, but I don't know. I just feel like that might be the the right move. Just like, because he's using such a wide formation and he's now just parking the bus. Um, I think I need like a lot of work through the midfield to really get uh, to really get a goal back here. Is it? Oh my god, this game is just so, so unrewarding, man. Gigi Buffon just saved that onto the post. I mean, fair play, it is Gigi, so. Great pass, Firmino. Thank you. So it could be 2 2 right now. It definitely isn't 2 2. But it could be. And now he's time wasting. What a classy player. In the round of 16 of a completely meaningless. Tournament. All right. What an utter bell. What an utter bell end. He, did he just pass? Did Kalasanas just pass that out of bounds? Okay. All right. Well, let's see if we can make some adjustments in game. Um, let's see if we can do that. I'll put Matic there. Um, I'm actually gonna do that and then that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. See if that works. <clears throat> I just I, I I need to be able to work through the middle. This guy's covering super deep and uh and all the wide plays, so Four defenders, everyone just disappears. That's, I'm not going to be able to do anything against this guy, man. <clears throat> it's too little, too late. <clears throat> Cheers, Hugo. Thanks for the saves, bro. Well, if he 
keeps getting in those kind of areas. I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. Riding onto the ball with that long stride, Vieira. Roberto Firmino into the attacking third. Sane with an opportunity to use his considerable speed. Icardi. I almost promise you I could play this guy again the very next game and I'd probably beat him. And then we'd play again. And then we'd play again and he'd probably beat me. That's what's so funny about this game is I guarantee you I could play this guy again and smash him. And then we'd play again and he'd probably just smash me. Like that's how broken this game is. The consistency in actual like game by game is so funny. Great shot there from Anthony Martial though. Really, really helped this out. This game is hilarious. Anyone else think this guy's probably going to print out this scoreline, put it on his wall, maybe jack off to it a few times a day? I'd say that's a likely thing to happen. Anyways, fair play. I didn't deserve to win that. He played well. Definitely outdid me, took his chances, as opposed to uh, me taking my chances. I wonder, did my Hugo Lloris make a save there? He made three saves. Somehow. Interesting. Very interesting. What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? Sometimes that type of stuff happens. So, I mean, that's not going to help us find out if Sané is good or not. But I'm probably going to end it on that.